Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio, home to the Bobcats of Ohio U. We're looking forward to a full house and a terrific game in this one. Today, an interconference battle between a couple of MAC rivals. As we'll see, the Eastern Michigan Eagles taking on the Ohio Bobcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Bobcats will kick it away first. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Eastern Michigan Eagles offense takes the field for the first time today. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Quick completion to the right. And they knock him down. There was nowhere to go. Defense is swarming. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. To the ground to try to move the chain. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Going up top on first down. It's complete to the left. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Eastern Michigan surgical on offense right now. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To throw, it's Snyder. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He lobs one high down the left side. And they will score! Touchdown, Eastern Michigan! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 82 yards. And the capper coming on that 48-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bobcats offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Looking for room at the 40. And he put his foot in the ground and turned it upfield and turned it into a big play. Great decision to keep it. Leaves it with the running back. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. And the Bobcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. 
Now he's looking to throw it. The short hands, it's Harris. Tackled immediately after the catch. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. They'll run it from the gun. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the back. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air. It's Navarro. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone, it's McMillan. He'll go out of bounds at the 27-yard line, just couldn't quite shake free. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Couldn't make the play on first down. They'll try it again. Second and 10 from the 27. Off play action. And they get the sack just like that. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass throw a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. All kinds of time in the pocket. Down the middle it goes. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. How about the job the offensive line does up front with pass protection? You see guys passing defenders off to one another, and they're giving up zero ground. That quarterback had all day to deliver a strike from right behind center. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. They'll give it to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's got it on the right. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to pass. It's Snyder. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Owen. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. 
The give to the running back from the shotgun. Brought down at the 39 after a pickup of 10. It'll be a first down. The Bobcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Release to the back. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Using the quick game. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to run for it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. And that is no good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Back to throw, it's Snyder. It's complete to the right. And he makes the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Gets it out quickly. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver shows motion. But jet sweep pass. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. And the Eagles are on the move. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Let's it fly deep downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. And now on second down for this offense. Here's the handoff. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying play action. Throws to the tight end and they fail to hook up on third down. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. He had a vision of getting loose, but he'll go out of bounds at the 18. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, running back on the move. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Looking for a man, it's Navarro. 
Throws to the wideout. Holds it in. Makes the stop at the 30, but a big 15-yard pickup gets him out of trouble. He'll keep it himself. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. On the option. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the option as he's tackled in the backfield. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And the Bobcats will send out the punt unit. He gets a block. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. He's going to pass. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Just gets rid of it before the heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner goes down. Here comes the offense on first down. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looking to throw, it's Navarro. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Gonna take a shot at this DB. Fires the pass, intercepted. And a tremendous return will be stopped at the 28-yard line. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Trucks through the defender. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. A first down run in the red zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Quick strike complete. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This defense was put in a difficult spot, but they've made it tough, and now the offense faces third and goal. Looking for the score! Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. What a disappointment. No good. There's a flag on the field, and I think we're going to get another shot at this, and the kicker will be a little bit closer this time. Might be the worst-case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. Running back searching for a hole. And he was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. 
They'd love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. And they're able to make the tackle. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and trot his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this round. Wow, through the defense. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wants to throw. It's Navarro. Lost one deep down the right side. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Pressure coming. He's got the back in the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. The Bobcats are rolling down the field. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Still running at the 40. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. It's a draw. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Ball's at the 27. It's third and short. Can they avoid making that fourth down decision? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. And the Bobcats will snap it on first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the lone running back. Fighting off the defender. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw, it's Navarro. He caught it! And he will score! Touchdown, Bobcats! up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top by one. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. 
It's a draw. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Cross the 30, out to the 33, and gains four on the play. It'll be third and short from their own 33. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to pass, it's Snyder. Firing to the right, complete. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. It's a pickup of five and enough for a first down. He wants to throw. He makes the connection. Tough, physical. Hard-nosed running gets it to the 34. On second down, he'll let it fly. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Third and short coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four-down territory. Looking to throw for it. Tight end finds a soft spot. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Off the play fake on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Hart. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. They go to the draw. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. Not a particularly long kick from 36 yards out, but he'll have to guide it in from the left hash. And this one splits the uprights. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over him football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. Man. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Looking for a man. It's Navarro. Immediately fires to the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. He'll pull it on the read. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. The Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the give, looking for room. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Got three on first down at second and seven. Leaves it with the back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. 
They'll try to get the first through the air. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. And the Bobcats will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. The inside handoff. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. The give to the single back. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. They'll try to power their way ahead. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. Eastern Michigan has it and a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Power football with the run. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. Looking to throw at Snyder. He looks that one in nicely. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. To the air on first down. A little release to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Unloads to the right. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Makes the catch. It's Harris. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, that's a great job working through his progression. The first guy he wanted to throw to wasn't open. He was able to kind of get through it. And lo and behold, there's a guy wide open. Nobody near him. It's a big play for the offense. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He'll do it himself. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Dropping back, it's Navarro. Makes a grab over the middle. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle, it's Owen. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. Offense gets set for second down. From the shotgun, the inside give. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. Use the play fake, now to throw. And that one's way too far for everybody. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Looking for a crease to the left. 
pulled down after a pickup of six, but he gets it inside the red zone. It's down at the 15. The Bobcats have taken it inside the 20. Safe completion on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Well, a field goal kicker can step away from the net and go sit down and grab some water. They're not, they're not going to need him just quite yet. That was a great play call. Throwing the ball on third and short in field goal range to get the completion now setting up first and goal. And the Bobcats are threatening on first and goal. He's looking to throw it. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find its way to the goal line. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. Third and goal coming up here. To the air. It's Navarro. He's got it and still on his feet. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio! They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. It took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. The give to the tailback. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Now the play fake. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fair catch called for and made. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. They'll go to the ground. Surges across the 30, out to the 32, a six-yard run. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Dropping back, it's Navarro. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback in this unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The Bobcats have it with a first and ten. They're going to run it. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They're lining up on first and ten from the 38. To the ground, he's got it again. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker and running back, and I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. And the Bobcats have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio! And it's 
so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the game because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's got it. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Dropping back, it's Snyder. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. He's got it. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The Eagles are marching down the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. They'll run play action. Oh, he wants it all. And he makes the catch inside the 10. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Eagles! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Unloads to the wideout. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. And they didn't give him much on the return, but they are in prime scoring position at the 22. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Hart. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Things look great with that field position a few plays ago, but now it's third and six. Throws to the back. They're working that left side. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan! 
And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. They go to the ground. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking to pass. It's Navarro. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Oh, look out on the right. He's at the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Bobcats. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. Man, we see this in college football. So much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high-scoring game after high-scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his man. It's Singleton. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. It's complete on the right side. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play, clock running. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. Makes a move. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Offense set on first down. Looking downfield, it's Navarro. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Dennis. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. A defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. Setting up the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Bobcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Here comes the offense on second down. The aerial assault continues. A little screen to the running back. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the middle. And they can't make the play on third down. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He needs to make sure those mechanics are pure from the right hash and 40 yards away. It is true as he puts three on the board. So 
So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense. He's off to the races. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Phenomenal play call by the offensive coordinator. You're calling screen passes to take advantage of a good pass rush, and that's exactly what happened. The offensive linemen, they just let those defensive ends run up the field. Quarterback did a perfect job holding onto the ball to the last possible second, getting it out to his running back, and man, that running back had a convoy out ahead of him. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the tight end. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Snyder. Throwing right. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Ball's at the 26, it's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Eastern Michigan will line up with a first and goal. From the gun. He's got it. And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. On second down, looking to throw. He's got his man. And that's good for the completion percentage and bad for the yardage. They lose ground on that one. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Athens, Ohio, for an entertaining first half than you? Here's a quick recap. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to our men at Peden Stadium. Eastern Michigan will kick it deep to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. They have the lead to start the third quarter, but I'd imagine ball security was a topic at halftime. Yeah, and I think you take the lead and you try to stay optimistic with your team, but you also say, guys, if we had taken care of the football, this lead would be even bigger. We might have already knocked them out already, Palmer. It's just about eliminating the mistakes at this point. You're right. This thing would be over. And it's picked off for the third time today. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Have a day, young fella. Two interceptions already? That's, that's three, four, five, six games for some people. A hot start, catching the football. He's acting like he's playing wide receiver out there. I might think about trying a different DB. On first down, here comes this offense. Used to play fake, now to throw. 
fires to the right. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Eagles! And they take it in for six more points. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. After the touchdown, if they could get this two, we'll have a tie ball game. Scanning the field, it's Snyder. He's got it for the two, and we're all tied up. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. It'll be a draw. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. They'll run this play from the pistol. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Going over the top. And he makes the catch inside the 25. Well, they wanted this guy catching the ball on the right side of the field. They could have just lined him up over there, but they didn't that time. He started off on the left side. He crossed the defense and made the catch on the right side of the field. And the Bobcats will have it first and 10. Trying to beat him to the left. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And now they've moved into the red zone. Looking to throw on second down. Got his man quickly. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The Bobcats have it in scoring position on first and goal. He caught it. Touchdown, Bobcats. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. They'll leave it with him. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to run for it. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here, calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. And we'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. Quickly complete. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. It's now second down after the short completion. Back to throw, it's Navarro. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Fires.
fires to the middle. Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. Got room on the return. The 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Eagles! This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point was made without incident, and we're tied up here in the third. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. They'll run the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Now they'll run the draw. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. A third and long coming up here. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the Bobcats will try to pin them back with the punt. He's got great speed. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Line getting set on second down. Quick handoff. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Looking downfield, it's Snyder. Finds his big tight end. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And the Eagles will snap it on first and ten. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. The gift to the back. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Right back to the well. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Give to the running back. 
Hard running there. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To throw, it's Navarro. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. Going up top on first down. That's reeled in. It's Owen. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. He's looking for a man on second down. Get it out on the screen. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. And that makes five interceptions in this one. The nightmare is alive. Didn't get a chance to show off those return skills, but he gives his offense the ball at the 29. Let's see what they have dialed up as this drive starts from the 29-yard line. Complete to start this drive. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. To the air, it's Snyder. They're trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass play. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. Going to the running game. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw right down the middle. And he throws yet another interception. Does he know which color jerseys they're wearing? Got him down quickly after the pick, but man, do you have to take care of the ball down here, and they didn't. They'll mark it at the 27. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see anything he liked. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. They try to pop a run on the draw. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Eastern Michigan has it and a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. 
Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll give it to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. Back to throw, it's Snyder. Fires into the end zone. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. He's going to pass on second down. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Looking to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Owen. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. From the gun, the ground game. Fights off a defender. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. The Bobcats are moving quickly down the field. They'll give it to him again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun, the inside give. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, going up top. Finds his man. It's Hunt. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. They cross midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the air, it's Navarro. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Video game type numbers now for this QB. He has been virtually unstoppable, and you know the Heisman voters are taking account of what he has done here in this game. He's got over 450 passing yards now. He leaves it with his back. It's a fumble. Oh, and he gets it back. A fortunate turn of events. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. They'll try the run. Trying to run it in in the red zone. He's got four and he's down at the 12. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They want to throw it. They're setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. 
They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Second and goal coming up. He's looking to throw. He wants it all. Grab near the marker is Harris. Touchdown, Ohio! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense, dude. If I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. A third and short coming from their own 20-yard line. Back to pass, it's Snyder. Makes his connection. Ford is left and grasping. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. The Eagles with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Eastern Michigan surgical on offense right now. Off play action on first down. Going for it all. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. From the gun, the running back has it. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Right back to the well. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Off the play fake. It's incomplete, and we'll change ends of the field now. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It's good. Easy call for the refs.
They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Quarterback on the keeper. And the Bobcats have enough for the first down. Offense working from the pistol. Here's the handoff. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the run. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Now on third down after that run. Back to throw. It's Navarro. Fires to the wide out. Got his man downfield. Oh, look out! Touchdown, Ohio! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. to attempt to try. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. To the ground with the back. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20, a pickup of five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Fires toward the target. Catch in the middle, it's Reese. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out fast. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Tackle is made after the first down, and the Eagles are moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it again. Quickly out to the tight end, and he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Now on second and short after the first down completion. Using the quick game. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Eastern Michigan has it and a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Singleton. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, just keeps firing. 
throws for the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Man, nice to have a QB that's focused in the moment, doesn't get rattled. You can tell, drops back the pass, makes a great throw, threads it into the end zone, and this team now has the lead in the fourth quarter right where they want to be. Here comes the two-point try. Looking for a man, it's Snyder. They're bringing heat. Looking, trying to escape, cannot. The sack thwarts the two-point try. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Bringing it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ohio takes over the Bobcat offense, heads to the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. After that last big gainer, they'll put it in play. First and 10 from their own 49. Toss to the left. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Hands it off. Showing off the arms. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. Running back searching for a hole. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. After the run, 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 now to throw. Snagged on the outside. It's McMillan trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Finds a spot in the middle. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. That big play has this defense reeling, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 14. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Looking to throw, it's Snyder. Let's it fly. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Really nice job by the quarterback there of just letting the play develop. He had his eyes down in the middle of the field, and I think when he saw that deep middle area vacated, he said to himself, I've got a guy running right into that area. I'm throwing this thing on time, and this is going to be a touchdown. And that's exactly what happened. 
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. He'll bring it out. It's Pearson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The Ohio U offense returns to the field. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. Flying down the left side. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. How about that last big play? You're backed up, and now you've got it first and 10 from the 46. Got it behind the line. It's Harris. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling them. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. The Bobcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the back. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wants to throw. It's Navarro. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Trying to beat the D deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Finds a tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Bobcats have moved it inside the 20. Power football with the run. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. And they take it in for six more points. So they get that score that they so desperately needed, and now they've got a chance to pull this one out. Defense has got to give them a chance. The defense needs to get the ball back to them quickly so they can march down the field and try and score and narrow the gap again. This offense, they have the playmakers to come back and win this football game. They're going to need some help from the defense. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So a drive there of 85 yards. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Looking to throw at Snyder. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. Motion from the offense. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Sends it downfield. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Another incompletion on third down. Eastern Michigan will be forced to punt. He'll try to really get into this one. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Fast motion from the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. That's caught. It's Owen. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. The play action fake. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Trailing by a possession. They need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Now from inside the red zone. Got it in the middle, it's Harris. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. Grabs it in the middle. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Trying to run it in. Touchdown, Bobcats! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. Snap it to the back. He gets into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and the cushion is now three. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Eastern Michigan takes over as the offense heads to the field. Grabbed in the middle. It's Reese. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. The give to the tailback. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. The Eagles have it with a first and 10. The give to the running back from the shotgun. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Back to pass, it's Snyder. Got it set up on the outside. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. Looking to move it through the air. Caught over the middle, it's Reese. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. He's gonna pass. 
gets it out quickly. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Let's see what they've got on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. So now we'll line up for one of the biggest kicks of this game. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It is good! Fellas, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ohio U ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Hendricks. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Looking for a man. It's Navarro. Zings it complete to the right. He'll be tackled at the 49 after a pickup of five. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Trying to find his man on first down. He's going to let it go. It's complete! A huge pickup! Touchdown, Ohio! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now, I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. They'll try to tack on an extra point here deep in the game. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 51 yards out. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Eastern Michigan has it back as the Eagle offense returns to the field. Makes the grab outside. It's Singleton. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. He'll send out five wide receivers on second and four. Looking down the middle. He makes a catch. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Looking to throw, it's Snyder. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Complete to the right. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, they'll take to the air. 
Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. Throws to the wideout. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Trailing by a touchdown, getting late in the fourth, and this is a huge, perhaps a defining moment in this game. Fires to the middle. The completion well past the sticks. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. And this is the chance for this offense. A first and goal, fourth quarter, trying to tie the game up. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. Just a crushing mistake on the penalty. Wipes out the touchdown, and now they'll have to try to get it together and score again. And it's picked off right at the goal line. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you've got to score, you've got to make big plays, but you can't turn the football over. Big-time mistake. This one might cost him. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. They'll go to the ground. Did everything he could to discard the tacklers, but he was just able to get back to where he started. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. The give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. A third down try for the offense. 